Hello everyone, this is a percussion sound design demo of the Bustle Instruments Noise Square and Cinnamon Eurorack modules. The Noise Square is, as the name suggests, a noise and square wave source, and the Cinnamon is a voltage controlled filter. Using those modules together you can get a wide variety of drum sounds um, by layering the different outputs of the Noise Square and filtering them using the Cinnamon. I've got a few examples for you right here, so let's check them out. This is a dirty kick drum sound. I'm using the noise squares cowbell output and the white noise output, and I'm layering them on top of each other using two VCAs modulated by very short decay envelopes. Now, the white noise output just does its thing and provides a little click at the beginning of the sound, and the cowbell output is tuned very low and sent through the cinnamon low pass filter. On the cinnamon the resonance is turned up very much and the cutoff frequency is very low. And I'm modulating that cutoff frequency with another very snappy decay envelope, emphasizing the bottom end. This is a snare sound I'm just doing with a noise square. I'm layering the pink noise output with the square wave output, which is modulated by the digital noise. This gives us an overall noisy tone, but lets us still tune the snare sound a little bit using the square tune knob. Now this is a metallic or glassy sound, and I'm just using the cinnamon in VCO mode, which means resonance turned up to 100%, and then the low pass output just going through a VCA modulated by a short decay envelope. Now the cutoff frequency of the cinnamon is set to the middle, and I'm modulating it just a little bit by the square wave output of the noise square. This gives us this FM quality of the sound. To get more variation in the pitch of the sound, I'm using a sample and hold signal sent into the CV input of the square wave. We can also use the lower character switch of the cinnamon to change the sound a little bit. This could be another snare sound with a lot more room than the first one. I'm using three sounds this time, the cowbell output, the metallic noise and the white noise. The metallic noise and the cowbell sound just go straight through VCA with snappy envelopes and the white noise is going into the cinnamon and out of the band pass output. Then I'm using a sample and hold or a sequencer again to modulate the cutoff frequency, giving us a little more variation in the snare sound and I'm using a longer EDK envelope to give the sound more room. Here's another little stranger drum sound, for which I'm using the digital noise output, which is just going through the VCA, and the cowbell output of the noise square, which is going into the cinnamon audio input, and then we're listening to the cinnamon low pass output. But in between we're mangling the signal in the cinnamon by using the band pass output sent into the one volt Proctor input, and also using a sequencer sending the CV sequence into the CV input, which is affecting the cutoff frequency through the attenuator knob. Also note here that both the character switches are turned on, which gives us this really distorted sound. This is a little more complex percussion sound, which has little rattling undertone there. It's basically three sounds. It's the white noise providing a pronounced hit at the beginning of the sound using just a very snappy envelope. Then there is the metallic sound, which is modulated by a very low tuned square wave. Then finally the digital noise, tuned down very low as well, sent into the audio input of the cinnamon and out of the band pass. The resonance is quite high, 
and the character switch 1 is set to on. The frequency of the cinnamon is then modulated by the cowbell output, which, like the square wave output, is also tuned down very low, so we're getting this rattling sound. So I hope those were some useful examples to show the capabilities of the noise square paired with the cinnamon module. If you have any questions, please just go ahead and write them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. And yeah, like, share and subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And of course, visit Bustle Instruments for all the information on their module lineup. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.